1968, Professor John Nicholson arrived at Loyola University's Rome Center. Little did anyone know the illustrious career 50 years later that would entail. I'm often amazed, in fact, at what John teaches. As everyone knows, John came to the John Felice Rome Center as a philosophy professor who then began to teach art history. Point of fact, John does not teach just art history. Professor Nicholson teaches us about ourselves. There's a certain passion that he brings to the classroom. The learning from him is always <laughs> it's an adventure. Caro John, it is such an honor to be here to celebrate your 50th year at the John Felice Rome Center. I have known you for many years as a wonderful scholar, colleague, but most of all as a gentleman and a fantastic human being. Your dedication, your scholarship, your teaching, um, you being you, the way you've been with so many students passing through the Rome Center, uh, you have enriched so many, many lives of people. Um, I guess I would really want to be that person who at some point can say, I'm now teaching the grandchildren of students from a long time ago. You have influenced generations. Um, that's a most admirable thing. John, congratulations on your 50th anniversary. This is a major accomplishment for any individual, but especially in your particular case. There are very few people who can change generations. You've changed generations. Hi, Dr. Nicholson, this is Gary Richide. I was in Rome Center in 1997. Hello, my name is Prasita Mifsed, and I um, studied at Loyola Chicago's program in Rome, but 27 years ago, took all three of his courses at the JFRC. Hi, my name is Mara Partridge, and I took Dr. Nicholson's Art in Rome class in the spring semester of 2016. They talked vividly about the things that you did for them and how you changed their lives. It was this walking seminar, this walking lecture, this way of choosing words, uh, using history, and making the past a part of the present for the students. Everywhere that I go as a director, students and former students remind me of that genuine gift that John has given to so many who have come through these walls at the John Felicia Rome Center. My favorite thing about his class and the thing that I'll take away from the experience of having Mr. Nicholson is that I, I would say, it sounds dramatic, but I think he's made my abroad experience more fulfilling. I still have to say that the Art in Rome class that I had with you continues to inspire me as a teacher today. I'm a high school teacher. I also teach at Loyola as an adjunct. What stood out about the lectures, uh, Dr. Nicholson's ability to truly give in-depth descriptions of the past and the present uh, with his abounding energy and his desire for all of us to learn. Dr. Nicholson, thank you so much. You really enriched my experience abroad, not only that, but also my um, experience at Loyola as a whole. I'm graduating uh, this May, and I can say you know, wholeheartedly that Art in Rome was one of the most impactful experiences that I've ever had in college, and I'm very grateful for that. As his reputation proceeds, uh, he is pretty much an encyclopedia. He knows everything about everything. He expects you to have some of that <laughs> for the exam. Um, so even if it's only a small fraction of his encyclopedic knowledge, it's still a lot of work to memorize all that for the exam. Um, but the, obviously the end result is that you end up learning a ton. Yesterday was October 3rd, 1991. After another church with a small interior, with a central plan, no lighting, cool statues. Next, we went to Santa Maria Vittoria and saw the ecstasy of St. Teresa by Bernini. It was a bit smaller than I'd anticipated, but it was still impressive enough to where I lit a candle in front of it for my family. What a class. What a class. Bus, metro, short walk to churches, blessing myself at every stop, praying and looking at fantastic works of art with Dr. John Nicholson. I was in class in a church, learning art history, praying, etc. all the things I love to do all rolled into one as I looked at my candle flickering. I let my eyes focus on the flame and I shifted. In fact, I felt something that day, a little flame of happiness. That was my on-site journal and how Dr. Nicholson's course changed my life. 
Congrats on 50 years, Dr. Nicholson. I want to thank you for your dedication to your craft. I especially want to thank you for the time you put into making that class just so engaging, informative. It's what education ought to be and you offer it to those students that you have now and like myself and my peers back in the late 1990s, uh, you inspired us to do and continue to inspire us to do great things. So thank you, congratulations on 50 years. Congratulations on celebrating 50 years. I'd like to thank Dr. Nicholson for um, giving me my life's work. Whether it was Baroque art or art in Rome, I thank you Dr. Nicholson uh, for an exceptional 50 years uh, what an achievement. Alguri! Tanti Alguri, we love you very much. You brought to life art, and you brought to life a whole new world. And I can only say from the bottom of my heart, Tanti, Tanti Alguri, with your 50th anniversary at the John Felice Rope Center. Congratulations. You have given them not simply an experience of Rome, but an experience of beauty and I can think of no greater gift to leave as a heritage. On behalf of all of us, John, thank you for all that you have done and thank you for the gift of yourself.